our district started using um, OERs with the My Open Social Studies book project. We um, adopted that book in about four years ago, and I was fortunate enough to be one of the fifth grade co-authors of that textbook. It was an enormously gratifying experience to be with a group of educators throughout the state of Michigan developing content as experts in this field of social studies. Even before I heard and knew what OER was, I was I was in the process of developing this book and then when our district adopted the book we started as uh, Jennifer had spoke, as a go open district. Um, since that time, our district has adopted a math program and we're in the first year of a new ELA program. And we're excited about the continuing to use OERs. As an educator, I feel very empowered using OERs for several reasons. First of all, I have been teaching for almost 27 years. I feel refreshed and revitalized by the use of OERs from the standpoint that I have the expert in the content area. I'm the teacher. I know my students, I know my audience, and I also know how students learn and respond. Textbook companies do not know your students. Textbook companies do not necessarily even know your state. So as a from the perspective of the social studies book, a book written by Michigan teachers for Michigan students has been very appealing to my students and, and myself. And I also know that teachers do not always need a script. They, they want it to follow their own uh, teaching uh, practices and resources. And again, if they're engaged with their students, they, they know and open resources allow you to be flexible. They allow you to revise and remix and all the things that we as educators um, know work for our students. We are in the trenches, the, the, we are first and you know, foremost the person that um, is, is using them. From the student perspective, um, I have witnessed an excitement and engagement of students with these resources. My students um, are asking for more of the resources. They, um, they are. A, we are a one-to-one -one district, but it, you do not need to be a one-to-one -one district to use them. But my students have um, an ability to. Um, vary their own learning styles. This has allowed such personalized learning. I can reach all learning styles. My students have the devices, whether at school or home, and it's, it's as simple as a click to get to an interactive, uh, um, maybe a, a video, and I can respond um, back to them. There's tools that we can use inside of the computers where they can highlight, where they can add comments, and those are not possible in our traditional textbooks. We also had you know, some textbooks like most districts that are antiquated and I feel that um, you know my students are getting the most up-to-date learning because my students and I can also add and revise the resources we're using. Again, my students are more engaged, it's more personalized learning, and it's an excitement that um, you know, I have been refreshed and, and my students have. I ask my students, what do you like best about the digital or the OERs that we're using? And they often tell me, it sounds like a teacher is talking to them, even when I'm not, when they are using the materials on their own. Um, also, it, going back to being a teacher, I feel that these resources um, empower us in the classroom, but also as a, a district and across you know, the state and, and country because we can collaborate and share with each other in a way that we haven't been able to do. We do not feel so isolated. We feel that we can take those resources and we can still use our own, our good stuff that we've had for a year or 25 years, and we can continue to make them better. And I think that's an important message for all educators that we empower um, ourselves but each other and we do not want to work in isolation. We want the best content for our students no matter where they live, no matter what district, what state. And this is a national movement OERs across the country. The new Michigan microsite um, was launched this past June and it's very exciting to be starting the school year with it and adding to it. 
and for all of those reasons, but at the end of the day, the most important piece is our students and what this does and will continue to do to the students in our state, in our country, they will benefit. And that, again, is the, the goal for all of us, that students have the best learning experience possible. Thank you.